Hi everyone, welcome back to another Move Monday. My name is Coach Stratus. After a long day at work, it may be tempting to collapse onto your couch and unwind with your favorite show. However, before you settle in, consider incorporating a post-work stretching routine. Stretching not only feels good, but it also offers many benefits for both your mind and your body. Working all day can cause muscles to become tight and contracted, which can cause tension and discomfort. Stretching after work helps counteract this by lengthening the muscles, increasing range of motion, and promoting better overall flexibility and relaxation. Today I have a great workout for you all. It's called Stretch and Flow. You'll just need a workout mat or a towel for when we're on the floor. I'll show you some modifications as we go through the workout. Let's get started with the warm up. All right, team, so we're gonna start with the warm up and we're gonna flow through two different movements. We're gonna start off in this bear hug position. So we're gonna extend the arms, we're gonna round out that upper back. I want you to tuck your chin towards your chest and then slightly push your hips back. And you wanna feel the stretch in the upper back, the back of your neck, and throughout the torso. Take a deep breath here, we inhale. And then when you breathe out, we're gonna come up nice and tall, we're gonna open up the arms, we're gonna lift the elbows, and we're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades, lifting your chin off the chest, looking up towards the sky. Breathing out, perfect. Again, let's move through those two movements again. Again, big bear hug, rounding out that upper back tucking your chest in, feeling that stretch in your upper back and the back of your neck. Then flowing into this chest opener, elbows up, fingertips behind your head, squeezing your shoulder blades, lifting the chin off, this, off your chest, feeling that stretch in your shoulders and the upper body. You got it. So again, continue to move through these two movements, deep inhale and exhales. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead and relax your arms off to the side of your body. Perfect. So ideally, I want you to move through that movement for about 30 seconds, repeating twice. So sticking with the warm up, we're gonna transition to the lower body. So our next movement might require a little bit of balance. So it's totally fine to hold on to something if you need that assistance. But we're gonna start off on the right side. We're gonna drive that right knee up. We're gonna rotate that knee out to the side and then we're gonna circle it back to that neutral position. Again, bring that right knee up, rotate it out, circle it through, back into that neutral position. So this movement right here is gonna focus on the hips, the hamstrings and your quads. You're gonna feel a little bit of work in the core, but I want you to continue to breathe as you move. Perfect. And then you wanna switch it up to the opposite side. Again, drive that left knee in towards your chest. You're gonna rotate it out. You're gonna circle it through back into that neutral position. Again, it's totally fine to hold on to something for balance. The focus is the hips, the hamstrings, and the quads, and that is perfect. So again, try to repeat this movement twice, working for about 30 seconds on each side. All right, team, let's get started with the workout. So there's four different stretches in this workout. We're gonna to try to move for about 30 seconds each, allowing for about 15 seconds in between our sets and transition time. So our first movement is a downward dog with heel taps. And you're gonna love this movement because it's stretched out the back of your legs while also working the upper body. So meet me here, we're in this downward dog position, lifting through the hips, pushing through the palms. When you're here, I want you to start by alternating pressing your heels towards the ground. And you're gonna feel the stretch in your calves, you're gonna feel it in the hamstrings, but I also want you to relax your head and neck. So allow your head to fall in between your arms, taking your chin close to the chest, and now you're gonna feel the stretch in the back of your neck and the upper back. I want you to continue to move for a total of 30 seconds, keeping that core tight. And we're here for another three, two, and one. Whenever you're ready, drop down to your knees, slowly roll it up, feel free to roll out those wrists. Great job, team. 
So again, give yourself about 15 seconds of rest, just enough time to grab a quick drink if you need to. But then we're gonna transition into our next movement. And this movement is called the world's greatest stretch. And it definitely lives up to its name. So meet me here in this half kneeling position. I have my left knee down and my right foot flat to the ground. We're gonna start off by just shifting your weight towards the front. You're gonna take both hands and just lay them flat to the mat, to the inside of that right leg. And we're gonna start off by lifting that back knee off the mat. Using your right hand, you're gonna bend that elbow. And then as we breathe, we're gonna turn our torso towards the right. You're gonna lift that right arm towards the sky. Stay here for a breath and then slowly come back to that neutral position, bending that elbow towards the inside of that right leg. That's perfect. All right, team, so again, we're gonna to try to move for 30 seconds. You guys pick your own pace. A little bit of modifications here. You can always drop that back knee and continue to move through this uh, range of motion. But again, I want you to focus on turning your torso, your chest towards the right side of your body, towards that right knee, opening up that right arm, looking towards the sky as you move and don't forget to breathe give me those deep inhales and exhales you got it stay here for another five four three two and one great job team so i want you to drop your knee back to the mat we're going to slowly roll up and then we're going to repeat to the opposite side all right you ready so whenever you're ready take that right knee to the mat this time the left foot is flat. We're back into that half kneeling position. Both hands flat to the ground. Lifting that back knee off the mat. I'm bending my left elbow. Deep inhale and I exhale. I'm turning my torso towards the sky. Looking up towards the sky. Coming back into that neutral position. So with this stretch, you're gonna feel it throughout the torso, the shoulders and the upper back, but also your hips, your hamstrings. And you're gonna feel a little bit of work in the arms. You got it. Continue to move and continue to breathe. Just for another five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, team. Dropping your knees to the mat, slowly coming back up into that tall kneeling position. Great job. So now we're gonna transition to our backs. So we're gonna lay flat to our backs, Continue to focus on the lower body, the hips and the hamstrings. So I want you to relax your head and neck to the mat. We're gonna start off by hugging your knees and then we're gonna move to our alternating single leg knee hugs. So we're gonna extend that left leg and just let that left leg drop to the mat and then we're gonna hug that right knee. We're gonna stay here for a deep breath. We inhale. When you exhale, we're gonna switch it up. So now I'm gonna hug my left knee, extend that right leg. Perfect. So picking your own pace for this one, alternating through your single leg knee hugs. Couple modifications here. You can lift the upper back off the mat if you need to, just to get a little bit deeper into that range of motion and to include the core into this movement where you're gonna feel the stretch in your hips, your hamstrings, a little bit in that low back, and again, if you're peeling that upper body off the mat, you're gonna feel a little bit of core work. Again, we're gonna to try to move here for a total of 30 seconds, but we're almost there. Just stay here for another five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. And then whenever you're ready, just, give your, just hug both knees. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Hug them nice and tight. Just stay here for a breath. And then slowly drop both feet flat to the ground. Great job, team. And then our last movement is a single leg hamstring stretch. So we're gonna to try to keep that right foot flat to the ground. We're gonna bend that right knee, and then we're gonna extend that left leg to the sky. We're gonna grab the back of our left leg, and we're just gonna gently and slowly bring that left leg in towards the body, feeling the stretch in the back of your legs. Feel free to circle out the ankles here, or maybe even point and flex that left foot but I want you to continue to breathe as you hold this position, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna switch it up. So now my left foot is flat. I'm gonna extend my right leg to the sky, grabbing the back of my right leg, gently bringing it in towards your body, feeling that stretch in the hamstrings. 
you got it. And again, if you want to get a little bit deeper into the stretch, you can always lift that upper back off the mat just to breathe a little bit deeper into that hamstring stretch. But again, you can roll out the ankles if you like, even point and flex that right foot. But just continue to breathe as you hold or as you move. Just stay here for another three, two, and one. Great job, team. And then we're gonna slowly roll it back up. And then ideally, we're gonna to try to repeat those four movements one more time. But great job, team. You all did great. When incorporating a brief stretching routine into your after work ritual, it can have positive effects for both your physical and mental health. So the next time you clock out for the day, take a few moments to stretch it out and reap the rewards of this simple yet powerful practice. If you have any questions regarding this workout, please shoot me an email at wellnesscoach at transitchicago.com. With April Band Financial Literacy Month, we are hosting weekly seminars on various topics, such as the Student Loan Survival Guide. As we close out Financial Literacy Month, we have a few more seminars left. So check out our wellness boards or visit our website for more information and to register. Also, the Single Day Miler Fun Run will kick off May 4th at 8.30. Again, Check out those wellness boards or visit our website for more information and to register. And lastly, don't forget about my next live workout session, April 29th at 12 p.m. This one's a Tabata Cardio Circuit. It's gonna be a fun one, you don't wanna miss it, so register today. today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content and I'm looking forward to seeing you all next week on another Move Monday. Take care team.